Hello and welcome to Virtual Depth's new video. So this is a reaction video on Unreal Engine 5. So this gonna be really excited. This video came out. Uh, yeah, about it came out for about two uh, just today or two days or uh, I, I don't really know the date but it's really really new they gonna show up the unreal engine 5 i'm really excited about this i really need to look uh, so yeah let's click play and look uh, what they gonna say maybe i have some comments or maybe i gonna say something hello i'm let's brian see. karras technical director of graphics here at epic games Hi, I'm Jérôme Plateau, art director of the Special Project. A few years ago, we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state of the art in real-time graphics. There were two key areas that stood out. The first, dynamic global illumination. Beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic global. I don't have to be constrained Ooh. to do a game where the world has to be static. And I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. And we're about to show you what it is capable of. But first, there was another area that we thought... So, I, I have not used uh, Unreal Engine, like Unreal Engine 4 or anything like that. But if I understand right, Lumen is something new that's gonna make graphic updates. And um, yeah, let's see, let's see how we're gonna start. Thought we could push forward. Truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. And that's a big deal for artists. I just want to be able to import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data, without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. And we call this new technology Nanite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Awesome, let's take a look at it. So the the f FPS gonna be really really good when you're gonna use this new technology. Okay, I cannot say the game engine is not out, so it's gonna be really exciting to see and how the performance gonna be uh, if they have made this technology. Uh, like the graphics can be like really really good. That's gonna be a real boost for Unreal Engine Five. This has to be the right way. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't... I cannot... Uh, now it's pretty dark here. Do I got 1000? Yeah, I got the highest. But when you're looking on the light on the right side, and of course, the f uh, the center of the light and everything, we can really see the texture. Is this a cinematics or? Oh, let's see. I I gonna I gonna look. I'm sorry. I I don't know why I'm pa pause pause pause. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, <laughs> we use the cinematic versions which Damn, can typically only be used in film. It's in They're around a million uh, triangles each. And thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles. Whoa. 8K texture so that's brutal look on the it looks insane it looks like in real i i know cinematics can get this texture when you're in a movie like uh, what is called cga effects this looks exactly the same it looks and this is in game in playstation five yeah exactly it's running on playstation 5 that's sick look on the texture an insane number of triangles very quickly 
There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different Whoa. color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well. And Nanite I really can do that wonder too. what's the Speaking of lighting, frame rate. All of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. <laughs> oh, damn Okay, it. let's keep going. <laughs> okay, that... That's sick. Unreal Engine 5. Okay, I can send... Making level design with this... Like, using this kind of texture and... Uh, this lightning, dynamic lightning, and understand right, this technology, it's gonna reduce performance a lot. No, not reduce, it's gonna increase the performance a lot. So that's... We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. Can you hear the sound? Oh, it sounds so surrounded and so real. It got some deep, deep audio quality here. Yeah. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. Damn. The texture is insane. And it's insane. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Yeah, the water effect is beautiful. The demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. Sounds promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any light touch. source can move while Bit still lengthy. having beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. <laughs> you can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. Oh, damn it. How, how much did they say? 
No author has more than 33 million triangles. 33 million triangles? No baking of normal maps. No authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Damn, when I'm looking at this and trying to look really, really much on the like lightning right now, it's like insane. It's like a real shadow effect, like it's not it's I, I don't I don't know how to explain this but when you're looking Billion. wait a minute I'm gonna close this sound go back the shadow and the lightning and everything is so smooth and looks so perfect Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. <laughs> so with mana, you have limited I'm sorry to pause, but this looks like a CGI movie or something. Exactly like a CGI movie. Like they're using a like a movie with CGI effects. Like damn. Limitless geometry and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination. All running on a PlayStation 5. It's so smooth, come on. Why is it so good? The looking is insane. There's not much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The portal, <laughs> it's open. Oh. Don't fail me now. <laughs> Are you kidding with me? Time to see what's next. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, this was insane. I'm a Unity 3D lover. I really love Unity 3D. I have been working with Unity for like five uh, five six year something i'm not sure but unreal engine 5 have really made some great technology i i can't really say that's awesome i don't know how they made okay they have i guess they have worked a really long time with this technology to make it so smooth like 8k texture uh, the dynamic lightning and the shadow, the sounds, and yeah, you did see the video, and it's sick. Uh, I want to say good job, Unreal Engine, Epic Games. Yeah, uh, I can I can only say that it was awesome. People that gonna make games with this, 
later it's gonna be awesome <sighs> good job epic games unreal engine 5 looks sick <laughs> i guess i gonna say thanks i hope you enjoyed the reaction uh, i didn't say too much because the video was insane <laughs> have a great day see you next time